So this brings us to look at engagement. Now, are we saying engagement isn't even worth the, the uh, survey it's written on? It isn't even you know, worth pursuing? I don't think so. I think it is something worthy to pursue. One of the things when I did my research work during my master's was that I looked through the Gallup wonderful research that they did, and many other people focus on engagement, and asked them, what were you thinking? What about accountability? And they said, well, we went to employers and we asked them if they were doing a good job holding people accountable. They said, yeah, we have performance management in place. No one would be here if they weren't at least meeting these minimal standards. Then why wouldn't you want everybody's opinion? They're all amazing. But the problem is we lied to them. We weren't holding people accountable. We never have held people accountable to a great extent. So let's look at engagement and recap. If you've come to believe with us that treating all opinions of all employees, treating all those responses the same, if you've come to believe that that sounds like insanity, and if you're realizing that all this work you're doing to perfect people's circumstances never develops capacity in them for the future to succeed in spite of circumstances, which, by the way, happen only daily in your company. And if you see the flaw that we've bleached forever, that increasing engagement increases results, when we know for a fact that it's accountability that causes both of them. The causal relationship isn't engagement to results, it's accountability to both. Then we need to get very clear that it's time for a different approach to engagement. Have you guys reached the same conclusion? We will tell you some tips that we want you to think about to fix your current engagement process. First and foremost, stop surveying the victims. Find a way, and we've got some ideas for you on how you can filter out for accountability. Make sure that you're fixing the right stuff. When engagement comes back, and says, X is broken, look closer. Do some validation of that. I, as a young manager, my HR wanted me to work really hard on engaging the disengaged. They didn't have to tell me the anonymous surveying responses for me to figure out who those people were. <laughs> I went up to them. And I said, I continually to get the impression that you are choosing not to be engaged with this organization. I said, so what's the deal? What would it take? And they gave me a huge list of what it would take. And I got to decide that I wasn't going to fix that. I liked that the way it was. I ran nurses. Nurses wanted only to work day hours. And that's weird, because patients <laughs> are with us longer than that. <laughs> we want you to give us the premier shifts. I'm not going to fix that. Then we'll quit. Awesome, because it sounds like nursing's not the right profession. People go, oh, but there's a shortage of nurses. That's called emotional blackmail. There's a shortage of nurses who want to work with low, accountable, mean nurses. Yes, there's a shortage of those. So fix the right stuff. Third is that you need to action plan differently. This is probably my easiest to implement technique. I, when I needed to do action planning as mandated by my company, and I need to do it with the whole group, I would go out and I would say, okay, tell me all the things that uh, we could do that um, would make this better for you guys. And they would give me a list, sometimes four and five pages. However long their list was, I would take that many pages out of blank paper and I'd put it up right next to it. And then say, now, tell me what you're willing to do to get that. Because I would think at least equal effort, right? Unfortunately, here's their response. Um, wait for it. <laughs> um, try and work with it when it comes. Um, be open. Seriously, those are some of the first responses. I asked them, plan, what do you want? And what are you willing to do to get it? Then there's a third list. What is only within my jurisdiction to give you? Could be dollars, could be equipment. Could, what is something only Cy, your leader, could give you? 
And then I have them look at the list. I say, it's a little, the list of what you're willing to do robust enough to actually get what you want. And if it isn't, we might have just solved the mystery why these things aren't changing in your life. It's a different type of action planning. People respond really well to it. You don't even need to differentiate the victims from the accountable ones in your survey. If you do action planning correctly, they fall out right there. The ones who are talking all the time when you made the five lists get very quiet when it comes to what are you committed to do about that. My philosophy is stop trying to get your entire group engaged. Take the engaged ones, work with the willing, and work on moving the others outside the organization. People go, you aren't supposed to punish people who just give you their opinion. I don't want you to punish them. I want you to manage them. I want you to be clear about, why would I pay you if you're choosing not to engage with my company? I'm going to pay you to stay here and hate me. I'm going to pay you to resist. I'm going to pay you to sabotage. I'm not crazy. So I have to ask people a lot, what's your plan to sign up? I do not have one. I think we're going to hell in a handbasket. I think this is the worst thing that could ever happen. And it was only because you're a friend of the owners. And this happened and that happened. And I go, so you have no plan to sign up because we're heading east. No. I'm not going to buy into that. That's nuts. I go, okay. Do you have then a plan to transition outside the organization? I'm staying. I've got three years until my payout. I'm not going anywhere. Perfect, because you're a wealth of knowledge. We'd love for you to stay. Then what's your plan to sign up for where we're going? I don't have one. Ah, I see we have an issue. You believe there's a third option. If most people can engage because they're accountable to a decent circumstance and we can work for improvement, why are we making all this special effort to engage the unengageable?